Hi, welcome to the Commoners series. Today, let us see about the Mamalaburam Summit. This is an informal summit between the leaders of India and China which took place at Mamalaburam, south of Chennai. Now, let us see the areas of cooperation. There has been a change in the world order as well as rise of Asia specifically after 2008 global economic crisis. This global economic slowdown and the changing perception of the globalization has given scope for India as well as China to cooperate in the area of economy, especially in forums like WTO. The second is that the Western countries' capacity as well as inclination to responsibly cooperate in international as well as Asian affairs gives the responsibility to India as well as China to maintain the regional as well as global peace. For example, after the withdrawal of US from Afghanistan, China and India should collaborate and cooperate to ensure the development as well as peace and stability in Afghanistan. Thirdly, they have converging interest in areas like climate change and they have a collective voice in climate change forums. In areas of economic cooperation, wide areas are still yet to be explored between India and China. China is keen to make investment in India especially with regards to infrastructure as well as fifth generation technology architecture on the other hand wants a greater access to market and also wants Beijing to remove all the trade barriers. When situated against the broader picture of emerging multipolarity, the uncertainty of the globalization as well as rejuvenating their economies, it is imperative for these countries to lessen their economic tensions. It is in essence is a backdrop for these informal summits. The first informal summit served a purpose. It was followed by the Doklam incident and it helped to diffuse the tension between the two nations. It actually removed the mistrust and it dialed down the tension as well as rebooted ties. Likewise, Mamalaburam summit also serves a purpose. It has been claimed that China has to make a truce with India in order to focus on its strategic uh, trade war with US. But at the same time, India also benefits from this informal summitry. Likewise, for economic engagement as well as for diffusing tensions with Pakistan. Now let us see the way forward. The Chennai Connect has paved way for high level economic and trade dialogue mechanism to deepen economic cooperation pertaining to bilateral trade issues. It has also led to deeper strategic communication as well as effective practical cooperation. China is India's most important neighbour but with a complex relationship. What we saw in Chennai deepened the strategic communication between Mr. Modi and Mr. Tsai. How this will transform the daily politics of the two rising nations is yet to be seen. In a nutshell, the two summits acknowledge the fact that India and China are not adversaries but they are two developing nations with a healthy competition in a multipolar world. The big picture is that China could no longer take India for granted and that international today are primarily weighed in for peace and development. Thank you.